hey guys i know it's been forever thank you guys for staying with me i really do appreciate like it's not been easy at all but today i'm gonna post the video i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys learn kindly um subscribe to my channel um like the videos recommend it to a friend i'd really appreciate that thank you guys so i'm going to prep my face now with my mattifier my primer and my setting spray so i'm using my make my mac prep and prime i'm going to spray it all over my face and wait for it to dry and now i'm going to use my primer i'm using elf translucent primer i'm going to use it in every part of my face under my eyes as you can see i have very huge eye bags this time or this time and i'm going to apply the primer over every part of my face and make sure it sinks into my skin properly after that i'm going to use my mattifier which is uh, my pond's vanishing cream so it's the mattifier i'm using for my face today i'm also going to be applying it over every part of my face as well most importantly the t-zone that's my forehead my nose region and my chin and other part of my face now is my foundation i'm using my mac foundation um this is the foundation my shade however just for you guys to know i've gotten a little bit darker because i've been under the sun for a long while due to the weather it's been it's been really hot so but the foundation would still work well because it oxidizes so it's going to work well on my skin at the end of the day so now i'm applying my foundation and as you know my routine i go from one part of my face then extend to the other part of my face and that's what i'm doing today as well but this time around i'm putting the foundation all over my face my brows my eye because i want everything to blend into each other i want it to be rightly almost the same thing so i'm applying my foundation all over my face i'm blending it in and my the kind of brush i'm using is a bh cosmetics brush it's dense no this is real technique brush sorry and their foundation brush it's the foundation is the brush is fully packed so it um, blends foundation into the skin properly as you can see i'm also taking care of my ear and my neck as well i'm setting my face with my carbon this setting powder this is like baking my face because i'm just going to apply the powder and let it stay on my face for a long while while i finish the other part of my makeup so i'm applying the powder at places where i want attention which is my chin under my eye as I said earlier that I had I have so much at my eyes bags very obviously I've not been sleeping very well stress then my forehead as well so I'm just baking the face so these are these are portions where I want to put your attention to in my makeup so that's why I'm just baking it I'm also going to put on my nose bridge as well so it's more like I'm highlighting and contouring my face and now is my bra i'm using the milani bra filler or oh, milani pencil yeah let me just see my pencil and the routine for my brows as i always say is make sure your brows are properly trimmed so you can just outline it so my brows are trimmed already although it's a bit full but it's something i can still work with then i'm outlining what i have on my brow and if you notice my hack started i started drawing my hack from the brow bone so so that it would be more defined and i just put use my pencil to just feel what i already outlined and brush it so that it's be, it would be as light as possible i don't want a very thick brow i want something um flawless so that's why i'm just doing it i'm going to do the same thing to my other brow so i'm outlining what i have when um, the hair i have already and i make sure that i start from my brow bone because that's like the easiest method for me and then i feel and brush so brow bone you draw your, your brow your arc at the point of where your brow bone is and you extend the pencil forward a bit outlining both the top and lower brow and you fill in lightly and brush brows people make the mistake of saying of thinking that their brows are twin no they are not twin they are sisters but they are not extreme twin sisters then now i'm going to be highlighting with my concealer i'm using early girl concealer in front to highlight the bottom part of my brows so i'm just correcting cleaning and defining the brows more by highlighting no big deal no nothing serious 
and i'm using an angle brush you can use a flat suit brush whatever brush that works with for you um that's good so for me for me i use an angle brush it's been working for me since forever and it still works for me so that's what i would use for myself for anybody then i'll just blend i'm blending with a loose brush so i just blend i apply a little bit of powder not all the time though but i think i did with this yes so i just blend can you see how nice the brow looks even without highlighting the top or doing anything so i'm going to do the same thing to the other brows just going to outline what i have drawn just to make it neat like my brows are already okay but just to make me have like a perfect brow that's why i'm doing this and my lights in the bottom part of the brow and i'm doing this gen like gently although my hand looks fast but i did this process very gently uh a friend complained or would i say a friend or someone concerned complained that my videos are too long so i'm trying as much as possible not to make them too long and try to speed up the process a bit so i hope you guys can still learn from this yeah i'm sure you can because it's as easy as possible uh let's go back to what we're doing so right now i'm blending my my um my concealer properly i'm also extending it to my eye crease and my and my eye region um i'm now i'm going to contour the i mean i like the upper um top brows but this time around i'm using my foundation color this is just to because i already applied foundation over my face so i won't have my um brows just standing in in uh, on my face so i decided to use my i used to use to use foundation my shade it makes it more easier for me to blend it with the foundation i already applied on my face and it gives you less stress when it comes to blending so i would advise anybody that is not so perfect with brows yet to just go with this method use foundation your shade for the um top parts of your brow and bottom brow use the one um or a concealer brighter than you and get the perfect brow can you see my brows they look perfect already and i'm just going to blend the foundation with my the foundation on my face already and it's going to come out very beautiful it won't even look like i highlighted the top brows at all so i need to blend it and can you see it looks flawless like i didn't and take a look at the brows my brows look very pretty and perfect uh for my eyeshadow base i'm using mary Kay eyeshadow base i just got that as well so i'm going to apply it on my eyelid up to my eye crease with a brush i'm going to blend it with a brush like you guys know i most times use my hand if i'm using lak i just use my hand to blend it but since i'm trying this for the first time and i don't know how it works so i'm just going to use it with a brush over my eyelid just going to apply it gently because it looks like it's something that would dry off like almost immediately if you've ever used this before kindly let me know and let me know what method you use anyways um so today i decided to do a smoky eye which is black <laughs> this look is really really nice so i'm just going to apply my found my eyeshadow black eyeshadow over my eyelid up to my eye crease i'm not putting i'm not using my eye space like i'm not fully going to use the entire eye space like my eye region i'm just going to use like my eyelid up to my crease like for this look that i want to do so it's just going to be a smoky look it's going to be very obvious but still subtle in a way so just apply my eyeshadow over my eyelid up to my eye crease like as you can see i'm not going overboard with it it's just an eyelid yeah and a little bit of my eye crease and i'm blending it properly so this today the method is different normally i would have transitioned first but i didn't transition first so now i'm going to transition i'm using my meat mat to transition if you see if you notice i took the meat mat like i used two different shades in meat mat the meat read and i forgot the other color but i made sure that i just took it very little and i applied it like it wasn't so much but different this particular um, eyeshadow is very pigmented so you don't need so much to emphasize it then now i'm going to line my eyes i'm lining the under eye with the um dark eye um lining pencil i'm not going to line the top parts of my eye because it's already stuck so it's not necessary it's not going to give any emphasis to my eye again so i'm just going to line the under part of my eyes and 
fixing my lashes yeah i'm going to use my mascara to just brush my lashes and clean it up if it has been stained from my foundation or from the setting powder that i had used before now so i'm going to use my mascara just to make sure that there are no stains on my lashes i'm also going to use my mascara on my bottom lashes just to make it come out because i like when my bottom lash pops out in my makeup it really makes me it really gives me this really nice look so i always try to make sure and ensure that i brush out my bottom lashes using my mascara i'm using a maybelline mascara and it's really nice very affordable and very easy to use it doesn't stain and it's not cranky and or anything so i fixed my lashes now i'm going to dust off all my setting powder that i used in baking my face i'm using a um, brush the brush is a little bit loose but dense so it would make it easier and faster for me to be able to um dust it off my face because it's been on my face for a while and i have a primer that actually makes everything stay put for a long while so i just need to ensure that i dust it off properly and so that it, my face don't look funny <laughs> that's very essential so now i'm going to be using my maybelline cacao to contour my cheek i always try to do this so that i would see the uh, my cheekbone and so i can apply my um contour powder rightly and at the right spot so this is my own easy method that enables me to do that so you can every other person has their own different style that helps them some they, some people use their ear um, the top part of their ear to determine that but whatever thing works for you it's fine for me i just try to put my cheek my cheek in and try to look at my cheekbone i'm also applying on my forehead and the side of my chin just to make this part look smaller <laughs> that's that's just the old idea of contouring giving uh, not giving attention to places you don't want to put too much attention to now i'm using my powder air yeah, minerals i'm using a loose small brush so that it helps me it enables me to reach out to places that i've not applied powder to properly and enables me to blend it into my skin very well um one thing i like about this powder is you have to kind of use it i won't say twice like i'll say twice so that you see the full effect it's a kind of a full coverage powder but you need to really use it intensively for you to see its effect so as i'm always going over it two times when i use the powder but trust me this powder is really nice and it would last it last lasts for a very long while like i said earlier i'm using a loose brush but a very small one and it's also a bit dense so i'm using it all over my face i'm using it to apply my powder and uh, now my um highlight is not popping as as much as i want so i'm using my classic light um powder to also to make more emphasis at the, at the portions where i want um to highlight i'm just doing this just to go over it again just to make it pop up better as you can see my face is popping more now there's more attention at the po at the portions where i want attention to be and i'm excited about that um that's a mary Kay glow mist i just got it also it's one of the recent products i got and this glow mist is wow i don't want to use word heavenly but it's the bomb like under the sun it pops out a lot the only thing is this is the first time i'm trying to use a liquid um glow or would i say liquid bronzer on my face so it took me a while for me to be able to blend it into my skin properly and it was it actually blended and that's one thing i liked about it it blended into my skin very well so there's no cause for alarm like but it took a while to blend but this glow mist is really really nice so that's my um golden sugar that i always use my one of my favorite bronzer but i feel like this mary Kay is going to steal it away from me because this mary Kay under the sun is just it just blinks fire so i'm highlighting my nose bridge my brow bones with my um golden sugar and a very slim brush as well a loose one um my lips i'm going to line my lips today that's one very rare thing i that's one thing i really do anyways and i'm using i think a classic lipstick in nude 
I can't remember the exact name of that lipstick, but it's a classic lipstick. And that method that I use is extremely wrong. I shouldn't have lined my lips that way, but I did it. And I'm using a Nuban um, nude lipstick in on my lip, trying to blend by patting my lips together, but that won't work. I have to use a brush to make it look better so that the lining will not be too obvious and so that the, lip, the exact lipstick i actually want would actually pop out the way i want it to pop can you guys see my face can you feel the face oh my goodness can you just see so one last thing just to make everything look great and beautiful and uh, that's a milani instant glow it's also a bronzer but this time around i'm using at the corner of my eyes i just want something different it's smoky eye yeah but i just wanted it with a switch and this look is very simple straightforward and easy to do you can do this in less than an hour and you would look great you can do it to a party a get together it works well i think you can also do it to church mocks like whatever thing that works fine for you whatever event you want to go to this is like the one of the easiest looks that you can do and i'll say a dinner as well a dinner date it would be really nice you guys for staying with me so this is my final look um if you guys have questions if you want me to review any products kindly let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get updates whenever i upload amazing videos um have a great week and enjoy yourself bye